Create a new vehicle uploaded from a DigiPost Pro. When you upload a new vehicle from your DigiVU into a DigiPost Pro, you do not complete the record for TacoMaster on the DigiPost Pro device. The VU data file is uploaded to the TacoMaster servers, but is not added to your database until you have assigned the vehicle correctly. If you log into the TacoMaster website, you will see a menu item, Uploads, with a number. This means you have remotely downloaded some data and you can now assign the records correctly. Click on Uploads. You now have a list of uploads requiring attention. Choose a vehicle you wish to allocate. Click on Assign Vehicle. Click on Create New Vehicle. The Add New Vehicle screen is now shown. Firstly, enter the vehicle details. Most fields are optional. Some must be correct. Registration Nation must be correct and should come from the vehicle record. Please ensure it's correct or your vehicle may require calibration. VIN or Vehicle Identification Number is usually filled from a vehicle unit VU record but is not mandatory. Owner Type, please select Fleet or Hire. Please select the site the vehicle will be operating from. Vehicle rule would usually be set to ECHGV for goods vehicles or ECPSV for buses that run under normal EU driver's hours regulation. Only select domestic if you are 100% sure the vehicle will not be used outside of the domestic regulations. The remainder of the vehicle details fields may be filled in if required by you. The TACO unit last read field is automatically updated when a VU download is uploaded into TACO Master. The next section. Vehicle maintenance information has a number of dates that can be filled in manually and reported on, but the next TACO recalibration date is automatically filled in when a VU file is uploaded. Please enter date started so you do not see data not relevant to you. This is especially relevant if it's a second-hand vehicle or a hire vehicle that has data from other people that has not been locked in. Date left is not filled in at this stage, but can be done after you've disposed of that vehicle. The last three fields, engine number, chassis number and ignition key, can also be entered manually but are not mandatory. Click Save, your vehicle is now added to your database and all subsequent uploads will automatically be added to your database. 